Anyway, I know I, I hate talking about myself, and uh, but but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get over it and do it. So I'm gonna talk about my first pro model with uh, Lester Kasai designs, the House of Kasai, and um, so when I left Powell Peralta, I know I left Powell Peralta. I know. I know what you're thinking. Yeah, I know. But hey, we move onward and, and you move on to other things. So um, yeah, so Powell just got really big. And there were, I think in, in 88, um, there were 80 team riders, maybe? I think about 80. And uh, Stacy Peralta was already kind of phasing himself out of it because it was just too much. And so it was kind of, you know, kind of getting lost in the shuffle. And at the time, I probably felt a little, my ego felt a little hurt because I was in line for a model. We had made shapes, had experimental models out there, which there are some out there. People have them. There's a guy in Turkey who has one, actually. And, uh, but anyway, so we, we made a few shapes and I was in line. And um, then... Frankie Hill happened, and Mike Vallely started getting really popular, and the industry knew what was coming. They needed they needed to move towards street skating, which, of course, it's more way more accessible than well. Park skating was going away at that point in, in eighty seven. There were no parks. Del Mar closed in eighty seven, so it wasn't as if everybody just went to their local skate park and learned how to skate. It was like, no, I go out my front door and I learn how to skate. And so when you see people like, um, well, Lance, of course, in the first video made street skating just like, oh yeah, I just go out and I just skate everywhere. And uh, so Lance sort of like planted the seed for the everyone should just skate everywhere, and that's great. And so Mike Valley comes along with his genius. Uh, parts in the Bones Brigade videos and just kind of blew the doors off everybody. It's like, whoa! There, you mean you can do more than just like going out and carving around and he's doing like all this crazy stuff, jumping over things. And so that was, that kind of shut me out of power. So, of course, I got sidetracked here. So, at any rate, 1988, I'm like, well, it's not going to happen, obviously, because they're moving towards that. So, I... Called up Stacy Peralta, which I, sh you know, that was just, that was a cowardice maneuver. I called Stacy and I talked to him on the phone. I told him I was uh, leaving. I should have said, hey, Stacy, can we go to lunch or something like that? And I should have told him face to face. But I didn't have that, you know, in me. So, chicken. Anyway, so made the call and, and, uh, um, because it was sort of, Lester and I had sort of joked about me, like, well, I should just ride for you, because, you know. And he didn't really, he didn't even have a team. It was just him. And he was all, really? And the more we talked about it, I'm like, wow, you know, it might actually be good. We're, you know, we're really good friends. We ride for Tracker. Tracker's backing his board company. And I was like, yeah, we could just have me on, and, and I can be the house guest. And that was our joke, being you know, a house Kasai and house guest Adrian Demain. So that started things. And so... 88, uh, I ended up as a member of the House of Kasai. And so after all that, that brings us to the first board right here. This is my first model with House of Kasai. And uh, this is actually, you can kind of see, it's still in the original shrink wrap with the little flyer and everything. So this actually is from one of the very first boxes um, when, when my boards came in to the factory. And uh, so I immediately grabbed one and said, well, I should keep it because someday I might have to throw it in the garage and pile it under a bunch of stuff. So, <laughs> oh yes. So, so what we have here is uh, Captain Harlock. And uh, so there were some things. This is actually on the back of a Steve Vai record. Um, I wonder if that's over there. I think I can find it. I'll get it in a second. Um, so the, the pyramid is, is from the back of the Steve Vai record. The, the character is Captain Harlock. And uh, this is actually, what is it, a six color screen? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six color screen. 
which, you know, nowadays it doesn't mean anything because you just print up a heat transfer and you slap it on there. But then it was like the guy, poor guys had to like put one color on and let it dry, put another color on and let it dry. <laughs> you know, the good old screen printing days. So that's that, um, which the graphic, I, so when I was in Japan with uh, Steve Caballero on Lance Mountain in 87, the year before, um, I had gotten some, some things with, with artwork because I was like, oh, I really like this Japanese artwork and maybe someday when I have a model, <laughs> I will use that. So this is the book that I gave to the folks at um, Tracker, Trans World, whatever, um, to, to get the, the artwork from. Pierre says, yeah, that's right. That's exactly how it is. And uh, so I think that, I don't know who, I, I actually don't know who did this one. And if somebody knows, please let me know. But they had, uh, you know, he had kind of marked some pages here um, with some examples that he was going to borrow from. And so that, that ended up here. So, uh, and that's, it even says a message from Louise Balma to the Ridge. Please, please give this back to Adrian there from Rick at TWS. So it could have been Rick Farr, Rick Fork, Rick Froberg that maybe worked on this one. Possibly. Uh, I don't know. But anyway, so that's where this came from. Well, my trip to Japan with, um, with Stevie and Lance and Kevin Harris. And before I run out of time, let me see if I can find... So, Steve Caballero, one of my heroes, uh, Steve Caballero, Steve Vai, one of my heroes got on the guitar. This album, Flexible, even though it's backwards. There's the pyramid with the sevens. And that's the whole reason I wanted the pyramid. But um, we got a letter. Somebody wrote in, the kid wrote in, and uh, said that I, the tracker should be ashamed of having me on the team because I was a money worshiper. <laughs> and apparently the, the pyramid with the sevens is the clan of the Illuminati, 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 that are money worshipers, apparently. <laughs> Something taller below. So yeah, me, I'm sorry, I was just a guitar player fan. So that is that. So there it is, my first pro model on House of Gasai, uh, Tracker, and, and such, and this one I think did pretty well. Um, I think, I can't remember, uh, but I think that one did all right. And there's a guy that's been trying to sell one right now on eBay uh, somewhere in Europe, and he's been asking 1,200 bucks for it for a year. <laughs> I'm just like, you gotta chop a couple of zeros off of there, buddy. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not, uh, not that collectible. 